What is up, guys? Me and Unstoppable here, bringing you another RuneScape progress video. Um, this one is going to be kind of slow in the beginning because I'm going to semi AFK train mining a little bit. A couple reasons I'm doing this number one, I've got some video editing to do, and number two, I need 50 mining in order to do the Heroes quest, which is a quest that I need to do uh, for the things that I'm trying to line up and finish and accomplish. So, uh, this is supposedly good XP. I've never really been here before. I don't know if it's going to be good money making, but there's probably like a 90% chance that I'm not going to sell any coal that I make from this anyway. And I'm pretty sure coal is the only thing I can get because I'm so low level. I'm such a good level. But, uh, um, yeah, I'll probably leave and come back a few times when I can use new picks because it should be fast leveling, but they see level 34 and, uh, I'll start the video up on it. So we just got another level up, and now we are 35. So we just got to 36 mining. It's kind of slow, but I mean, at least it's semi AFK. Uh, it's definitely not fully AFK. Like these things usually last between like three and, well, actually, I'll say like one and like seven or eight little ores. They, they, you can't sit here for 20 or like. I was told when I watched a instructional thing on this that there, it's up to 20, to remember between 1 and 20. I've never seen 20. I've never seen past 10. So anyway, it's good XP though, so we'll see where it leads. So we just hit level 37 mining. Alright, so now we're 38 mining and still down here. Alright guys, so 39 mining. Two more, and we'll be able to use moon picks. Alright, so level 40. We are one level off, and then we can start... Okay, so cool, now we're going to start getting gold. Uh, that's awesome. I'm excited about that. Uh, I don't know if I get extra XP for gold. I might only get extra XP for Mithril and Adamant and all that, but we'll see when I go to turn it in. Um, but yeah, one more level and then we'll be able to, I just decided to hop right over Addy, so I'm just right at Mithril. I didn't feel like going and buying one, so I'll just go from this right to room, and then uh, we'll take it from there. Alright, so here we are, 41 mining, finally, and it, it just so happened that I got this actually on a rock fall, so I was on my way to, uh, to drop off the ore. You can use the room, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go... Uh, drop this off, um, turn it into coal, and then bank it, and then I'll uh, be back once I've got that room picked and I'm ready to train. Oh, and also, I just wanted to include in this, so far I've gathered 12 gold nuggets, which is nothing in comparison to what I need for the for the actual set, but uh, we'll see. we'll see how close we get. All right, so we're level 42, and I gotta say, guys, um, it is way faster, obviously, with the with the rune pick compared to the mithril. Um, like it's insanely fast, and then also it's really good that um, I'm higher level mining now because now that gold that's coming in uh, does give me additional XP, and when it gives me that XP is after I put it in the hopper. So it's not like as you mine it or as you like take it out of the sack to put it in your bank. It's as you put it in the hopper. So once you put it in the hopper and it travels down the little water stream, once all the ore goes in there, that's when it generates what type of ore it goes in. So, and it gives me like 75-ish. So, I mean, that's pretty good for extra XP that, uh, that I wasn't getting before. So, uh, yeah, I'll start the video back up um, once we hit another. All right, guys, so, so far, so good. Um, like I said, the XP is, is just great from when you're putting it in the hopper. It's a huge boost. So we're already up to level 43 in mining. All right, guys, so now we're at 44 mining, six more levels to go. I'm not sure if we're going to finish this off today, but I'm going to try and get as high as I can. I also want to try and get 60 attacks, so I might be going back and doing a little bit of Slayer today. We did a significant amount of it yesterday, and uh, we'll see We'll see where that takes us. 
All right, so there it is, level 45. Five more levels. So there we go, guys, level 46. All right, guys, so here we are, level 47 mining. All right, so uh, about to level up again. We are going to be 48. 48. Two more levels to go. All right, guys, so level 49, one level off, so another 9K XP. All right, so there we are, level 50. Um, I know I said I was going to stop at 50. I'm going to continue on. I'm probably not going to get to 51, but I, I'm about 2 hours and 15 minutes into this video editing that I'm doing, and I think there's only like going to be 50 or so minutes left into, into editing that I have to do, so I really want to finish it off. So I'm just going to stay here for a little bit, but you guys might not get another video of another uh, mining level up. But yeah, we got to our goal, so now we'll be able to do the Heroes Quest. We have that requirement. Alright, so uh, not finished with the video. I am finished editing the actual video part of it, though. Sound bites, captions, all that stuff, none of that's added to it. So anyways, I decided to finish, just stop doing that, and I did my last run of, uh, of this Motherload mini game thing, and so this is what we ended up with. Uh, a couple more gems than we had. I had zero of both of these things, so we. Th this is all we've gained. So, 1,180 coal and then 1,159 uh, gold. I didn't have either, either of these ores in my bank at all. So, it took me a very, very, very long time to do this. I don't recommend this for money making. Um, if you want to make money doing this, you can uh, exchange these gold nuggets in. Um, and you, what you can do is you exchange them in for soft clay. So I believe for every 10 nuggets, you get 100 of these. So that would equal out to 14K. So, yeah. Um, or or uh, you can use it for crafting XP. Um, I'm saving up for these. Specifically, I, I want the jacket first, but I'm saving up for this. That way, it'll be easier to uh, get my mining up. But then also, you've got the soft clay pack, the gem bag, coal bag, all that. So, uh, now that all that's said and done. So, just leveled up the Slayer level, level 39. Alright, so here we are. I finished the... Uh, the Slayer task of bats, so uh, they don't drop anything. I can't kill albino rats yet because I haven't done the quest to get into Mostly Harmless yet, so that's really all I made. And the only reason I even picked up this one bone was for the Rag and Bone quest, and for some point I don't want to have to go fetch it later, so that's why I have it. 40 shades. Shouldn't take too long. Alright, so finish the shades task. Once again, no loot. They don't drop anything except for remains, and they aren't really worth taking. 16 crawling hands. This should be pretty fast. Slayer level up, level 40. Basilisks, terror dogs. Alright, so we knocked out the crawling hand task. It was a good task, it was good XP, and it went by super fast, but obviously pretty much a zero money. Um, but yeah, but the speed it went by, it was totally worth the Slayer points. 42 desert lizards. Not super excited about this, but I will do it. All right, so finish the task of uh, Desert Lizards, and uh, we're here to get another one. Here's the loot for it. It was a really small task. I think it was 40, so 4K. Not terrible, but definitely not a substantial amount of money. 51 bats.
There we go, guys. Level 60 attack. So now we just need to get up to level 70 for this and this. Alright, so we finished the task. 50 bats or 51 bats. And let's see what the next one is. 64 pocket rises. I'm probably going to go get the uh, Dragon Longsword. i got to buy some energy pots and whatnot. And then I just got to level 41 Slayer. Alright, so we finished our Slayer task. Um, I'm going to start doing Slayer tasks from Nanaka now. So we'll see if he gives me something better or worse. 95 Harpy Bug Swarms. Alright, so we finished off the Harpy Bug Swarm task. And I didn't have... I don't have a high alk yet because... I'm two levels off, I'm only 53 magic, so I just kept all these mytho chain bodies and, and this adamant and I'll alk them at a later time. But this is the loot. So they're good. They're good X they're good XP and they're good money. So I just got to level 42 Slayer. <laughs> Fervor Spiders. Fever Spiders. Wow. Alright, so we finished our task of Pocketrices again, and uh, this time it was 90, so it's a significantly more larger amount of them. So this is a more accurate representation of how like uh, how much a trip will get you there. Got 60k from it, so decent. Next task, 69 Green Dragons. 69. 69. <laughs> Alright, so finish the Sawyer task of Green Dragons. Oh, here's the loot. Obviously, it was good. Green Dragons are probably some of the best loot in the game. Oh, yeah, and these. So, almost 300k. Fifty-three Earth Warriors, so this should be relatively easy. Alright, so I decided I was just going to uh, wait to do the Slayer until tomorrow, or maybe I'll continue on a different skill. Uh, so I fixed up all the Dragon Bones uh, to use the Ecto Fungus. Uh, that way I can get the prayer up. Hopefully we get around about 40-ish. Maybe we will, maybe not. I don't know, we'll see here. Alright, so level 32, 33, level 34, reflexes. Thirty-five. Level thirty-seven. Protect from Mage. Level 38. So we got to level 39. It's, you know, not exactly 40, but hey, we're close, so that's okay. That's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit the like button. Don't if you didn't. 
hit the, sub the subscribe button if you're looking to see more RuneScape videos or other gaming videos. That's it for tonight. Y'all have a good one.